I have a confession to make. Great. Please I do. may have found a new best friend. I have a confession to make to you. Yeah? I have zero confidence in the fact that you found a new best friend or potentially even a new friend. That's a confession. I'm not saying it's true. I just no, don't man, believe we've been hanging ability. out like all the time, dude. We've been doing yeah, like what's, what's his name? Like Joe. Joe? Oh, yeah. really? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Huh. yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. This is her, his last name happened to be <laughs> Mama? Mama. Joe Mama? Yeah. Joe Mama. Yeah, Joe Mama. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know Joe Mama. Yeah. Yeah, that guy, he's awesome. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's really cool. You, you uh, Good luck with that. Good Thanks. luck with that. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're tight, man. Yeah, man. No, I, I, I'm I'm uh, highly impressed by your lack of ability to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, confession, though, dude. Confession is an interesting, is an interesting, interesting topic. Yeah. Um, and the way that it relates with friendship, I am uh, I'm fascinated by it. But it's it's something that that I think, especially as men of faith, especially as Christians, you know, it's, it, it's, I don't know, I've not heard it emphasized necessarily um, in in a, a lot of churches. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to rack my brain if I've ever really heard it emphasized, uh, you know, as it is in the Bible, but it's biblical, right? Like the Bible specifically says, it, it calls us, uh, it doesn't beat around the bush, right? It doesn't say if you feel like it, or if your, your comfort level uh, permits, like it straight up says, uh, I think it's what is it, James 5 16. Straight up says, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Right. It it, it doesn't, it, there's no mincing of words there. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. And the that verse is kind of the the motivation behind this conversation. It it's pretty convicting because I think a lot of dudes. I say convicting, but, but it's, we built the kinetic man around this idea of, of confessing, of, of having conversation, of, of being together and and having deep talk and, and, and being honest, right. Being honest and being vulnerable. And, and I'll tell you, man, I, I absolutely treasure it. And that you, we see the power we see the power in these men's lives when they do it. We see the power of that vulnerability and that friendship that that is a result, and also the loosening of chains and bonds and sin and just you know gross when you do it. Yeah, dude. I mean, um, it's interesting. I had a conversation uh, with a guy this morning, and I think you had a similar conversation with the same guy. He's a part of. He's a new member of the Kinetic Man Mastermind, and. It was kind of like questioning, you know, uh, we, we go into hot, we do hot seats pretty quickly, uh, into, uh, starting a, a tribe. Um, and it's, it's, it's open kimono, right? Like the, the rules are, you gotta be honest and you gotta be vulnerable. Right. And, and we're not like going to be like, you know, messing around with like the, the easy stuff. Like it's, it's, it's the hard stuff, right? Like the, the, the one thing that you don't, tell anybody right and and the reason for it is is to your point like that causes you to be closer to in this case a tribe right and as soon as you open up as soon as you become vulnerable as soon as you confess uh, your sins it's like a a weight released and you're like all right the walls are broken it's time to get real on everything else right and so once once the tribe goes through these hot seats, you're so much closer for it. And then you can have real discussions, you know, about real topics and come up with real results. And so, you know, this idea of, of, uh, confessing and friendship, that's what a true friend is. Like you and I, like we, we confess to each other all the time. We hold each other accountable to things, um, to force ourselves to get better. You know, these walks that we go, uh, around, um, you know, some of the, some of the conversations are about business, but a lot of times the conversations are about stuff going on in our lives, you know, the hard stuff. And, um, uh, who is it? Just, Justin Whitmill early. Um, he, uh, he says that the, uh, a friend who, um, 
confesses is a covenant friend. And a covenant friend is one that's like for life, right? A covenant friend is one who uh, is there for you all the time, anytime. Um, so I don't know. What do you think about that? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, I think that uh, it's interesting because there's, we've also gone so far away from this in our, um, you know, just in our Western American uh independent macho man culture we've gone away from from the truth of of these of these words right like we, we've gone away from uh needing other people and that that's cool right that that's that that's something that is not only is it cool but like when you do it, it it's kind of awesome right it, it you know you talk about uh the reason they do hot seats well the reason you do hot seats is to create a level of trust so that when you talk about the other topics within the, the connectment mastermind you already have a baseline that you don't have to break through uh, to be honest about that thing, right? You know, about your marriage, about your family, about whatever it is that, that, that we, uh, you know, that we talk about. Uh, and, and it's, but there's another side of it. You know, there's a book, really good book called Life Together, Diedrich Bonhoeffer, uh, for those who aren't familiar, the, his book Life Together is, is oftentimes considered one of the best books ever written on, on community. Uh, just a quick you know, history, he was, uh, during World War II, he effectively started this community and set it up as a, as a counter to the, the cancerous effects of, of, uh, the Nazi, uh, the Nazi movement within the church specifically. And so he had this, you know, this, this community that he set up and in the book, he says, sin demands to have a man by himself. It withdraws him from the community. The more isolated a person is, the more destructive will be the power of sin over him. Sin wants to remain unknown. It shuns the light in the darkness of the of the unexpressed. It poisons the whole being of a person. And I love that quote because that is the desire of the enemy, right? And if you're not a spiritual person, you don't have to look very far to see, you know, you if if you take you know refuge in science, whatever, whatever it is that you seek, the truth remains, right? The truth remains that in community and, and in, you know, if you don't want to call it sin and you want to call it whatever, uh, uh, you want to call it doing, bad, know, things. Call it, doing bad stuff or being isolated or, 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 you know, anxiety that cripples or whatever it is, all that stuff, a, a beautiful place for that stuff to grow is in the dark, right? A beautiful place for that to spread is in the dark when you're by yourself and you're lonely, you have nobody to talk to, nobody to shine light on it. But when you do have somebody, regardless of your faith background, it feels better. It feels awesome. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And so I just, I love the, the aspect of countering this, this uh, it's very countercultural what we're doing in, in the connect man, because dudes are, are doing that. They're getting out of the dark. They're expressing this. So they're sharing things that they, like you said, they've never shared with anybody. And it, it has the power to, grant freedom. It has the power to, to break shackles, right? It has the power to, to say something out loud to people that you trust and that you love and, and them even just listening, not, not telling you how to solve it, just listening to be there, to have somebody to say that to it, it, it breaks a lot of the power of those things. And it's an amazing thing, right? But also as a person of faith, if you are a person of faith, it's not, it's not a suggestion. Like it is a, it is a mandate. Like you will do these things. You will confess to others so that you can be uh, forgiven and set free and all the good things that come with that. Right. Uh, so I think there's just a ton of power that we need to really lean into. And again, I just want to, I, I, I can't overemphasize how amazing it is to have people, to have a community, to be able to pick up the phone, to be able to go out, you know, go for a walk, to do something and be like, Hey man, this is what's going on. Like, this is where I'm at. And it sucks. But just to have people to do that with, I can't imagine doing that alone. Like now where I'm at in my life, I can't imagine doing that alone. It would suck. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, think about uh, all the times where like sin has come into your life. I bet most of that time is when you're alone, right? When you're by yourself, you know, family's out of town or, um, you know, whatever that is, you're, you're solo, right? And that's that's when... That's when kind of sin creeps in. That's when, um, that's when the bad stuff happens. So, 
I love it, dude. Um, I'm, I'm grateful to have you as someone in my life that I can, um, have as a covenant friend to, to confess uh, to each other, to hold each other accountable, um, and, uh, make each other better for it. Yeah, buddy. And, and I would just say the action item here, be the person that's willing to be, to, to say like, Hey, uh, Joe, <laughs> your new best friend. Hey, Joe, yeah. I, I would love, like, just imagine this. You go to somebody, you're like, I would love for you to be my covenant friend. And then that per Joe is going to be like, Oh, what's a covenant friend. That sounds cool. And then you're telling them like, I want you to be the guy that like, that I'm confiding in. I need somebody in my life. I trust you. I love you. Like it, it opens a door to like, to build somebody up, to make their day, to make them feel special. And it also gives you a, an inlet to, 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 to have that type of friend, right. To have that type of friend. And, and I'll just say for me, like for you, I feel, I feel kind of bad because you probably, you have one or two, like I have like 30 of them Thank in you. our in our group and it is no. so amazing like i have no problems because i just shed them all on all these guys hey, friends, shed them all on these guys friends don't tell lies either friends oh. friends don't covenant oh. friends don't tell lies no yeah yeah well didn't you start by or, or joe mama is a real guy like that's a real dude in your neighborhood right down the street <laughs> joe joe <laughs> mama that's a great name we, we gotta right, man. Kinda end this bye love you Love you. Go find a friend. Yeah, do Build that. them up and be built up by them. Peace. Bye-bye.